In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a GIF from a video fast and easy and using free software. And this video to GIF process works on almost any device. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now there's a lot of options out there when it comes to creating custom animated GIFs or GIFs, ranging from advanced software like the Adobe Suite to hundreds of random apps on the iOS or the Android app stores. But there is one service that makes this whole process really, really simple and it works on almost any device and it also happens to be completely free. So it's kind of ticking all the boxes. So in this video, we're gonna run through exactly how to use it. So after testing a bunch of the apps and the other options out there, the service that I recommend is called Giphy. Or is it Jiffy? No one really knows. I'm gonna call it Giphy. Either way, that's the one that you should use. So what Giphy is, is a massive library and search engine of GIFs and animated GIFs that you can use wherever you use GIFs. But not only is it a search engine and library, it also has the tools in there to help you create your own as well and publish it to their platforms. And they also help you publish your GIFs so that you can use them on things like Instagram stories through stickers and other cool stuff as well. So there's two main ways that you can use Giphy to create your GIFs. One is on a computer and you go to their website and create it on there, or you can download their iOS app or their Android app. Now the apps themselves are identical, so I'm not gonna take you through both of them, but the desktop version or the web browser version does have some different features to the app version. So I'm gonna take you through both options really quickly so you have a solid understanding of which process is going to be the best for what you're looking to achieve. Okay, so I'm on my iPhone now. I'm gonna open up the Giphy app. You can see straight away, you've got a heap of different featured and recommended GIFs and things, trending ones and stuff that you can use wherever. But that's not what we're here for. Down the bottom, you wanna come down to the plus button to create your own. Hey, how you doing? Uh, if we wanna record a GIF from the camera, we can just press the little record button down here. Let's record something short. A crazy little wave. Um, we can trim that down using the scissors down the bottom. If we wanna shorten this down, so you're able to quickly film and record your own GIFs. Let's trim off the end, just this, there we go. So it's just <laughs> something silly. All right, let's hit the tick to apply. You can then come across and you can crop this down. That's probably the next thing you wanna do is to trim it down or crop it down to the right size. So we can come at the top right-hand corner to the crop. Most cases, you're probably gonna want the square one by one. So you can pick those along the bottom and then you can pinch to zoom or tap to move around to reposition your video here. Once you're done, hit the tick. There's other things that you can do across the bottom here. Like you can add stickers. If you wanna add some stickers and those sorts of things in, there's effects in here as well. And then all you need to do is hit the purple button, the across arrow, and you're able to save this out. If you just wanna save it to your device or quickly post it somewhere, just hit share GIF, and you've got all your standard sharing options and obviously the ability to save your GIF there as well. If we back out of this, you also get the option here to upload to Giphy. And this is where you can create a free account with them and you can store all of the GIFs that you create. Now, if you are looking to get your GIFs through to places like Instagram and Instagram stories, you will need to create an account and you will need to apply to get your account verified in order for your GIFs to show up in there. That's not something we're gonna run through in this video. They've got all the information on their website on how you can do that. Now, if we back out of this now and go back and not create a video here, we can actually import videos that are on our device as well. So if we just press the button down the bottom right-hand corner, we can select a video from our device. So let's pick this one here where I'm showing the teleprompter for something. Again, we can trim it down using the scissors, change a new start time, a new end time, make this one really short. We'll go up to crop, let's make it square. Let's slide it across so it's in the middle, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And you might then wanna add some text. Create videos easily. Hit the tick, we can then position that down the bottom. And again, then when you wanna share it out, you just hit the purple button. So the process is pretty similar over on the computer as well. You wanna to head to giphy.com, come up the top here to create. That'll open up their GIF maker. 
From here, you can import photos or existing GIFs to be able to create your own. You can choose an existing video that's on your computer. It says here, trim your video into a GIF, then add captions or stickers. This is pretty much the process that we just ran through on the phone. But the biggest addition here or the biggest change here that you get access to that you don't have on the smartphone app is the ability to bring in videos and create GIFs from places like YouTube or Vimeo. So we're gonna go ahead and paste in a link from one of our YouTube videos. This is just our channel trailer. Do be aware that there is a 15 minute maximum duration. So you need to make sure that your recording or that your YouTube video that you're pasting in there isn't longer than 15 minutes. So the first step then is you can see it's playing the video here. God, that guy looks pretty young. You wanna choose the start time. So let's just scrub across here to something that looks pretty cool. Somewhere around here, so there's a shot in Fiji. I think it was Laurie Towner getting a decent wipe out there. You can see that the duration here is too long at four seconds. So we wanna shorten this down so it doesn't go for as long. We don't wanna see me at the end of it. Let that play through. And maybe we can go a little bit more. Perfect, 3.3 seconds. We then can go continue to decorate. We can then easily add in text as well. I don't know, ouch. Guess I would have heard if you hit the bottom. Uh, we have control over where we're putting the text, so we can move it down the bottom here. You've got a heap of different ways that you can click and change the way that it's all appeared. Like this one here, ouch, kind of comes up around the same sort of time, so that's not bad. You've also then got access to stickers, again, up the top, and you can search for them. You can add in filters to change the way it looks. I'm gonna add a glitch to it, ripples. Spooky, all right, let's go none. Or you can actually draw on there as well. If you wanna draw something out, an arrow or a smiley face or something, you can do that in here as well. But once you've gone through and set this up how you want, all you need to do is select continue to upload. It's a good idea here to enter some tags so that you can find this later. Let's go wipe out. And then you just hit upload to Giphy. We'll go through and that will create our GIF. And then our GIF is created. Now I do wanna point out here, I'm not even logged in to an account. You're able to do all of this without even creating an account. Obviously, if you wanna save this to your own account so you can come back and find it quickly later, I would strongly recommend you create an account and do it that way, but you don't need one. Now that that's done, you can literally just right click on here and choose save image as, and that will save that GIF to your computer. Or you can come over here to copy link and that will copy it so you can paste it and share it out. You can click on media here and this will give you access to the source files. A social media version says here optimized for social sharing, 10 meg or less. There is an MP4 if you want a video file or there is a small optimized file, two meg or less. You just hit copy and you've got that direct link to that. You can hit embed to embed it on your website or blog, or you can come down the bottom here to share it, and this is where you got access to all of your social sharing for that GIF as well. So that's how easy it is. So that's all you need to do, and you can see how painless and quickly you can create these things. So that's how easy it is to create GIFs from your Android device, your iPhone, or even your desktop computer as well. Now, linked on screen is a video showing you how you can make Instagram stories like a professional. If you're interested in upping your Instagram story game or even your Snapchat story game, if people still use that, then check out that video because we take you through the entire process. I'll see you in the next one.